So, you guys had some uh, pretty tremendous chemistry in this film. Did you guys know each other beforehand? Negative. No. Mm -mm. But we got along. I just, I, did. The, the second I met her, it just, there's a, there's a, she's just such an easy <laughs> girl to get along with. You know what I mean? She really is one of the guys. She really just kind of is ready to. Just what every girl time. wants to hear. Yeah. <laughs> she really is. And she's just kind of like, she's easygoing. She's self deprecating. She doesn't take herself too seriously. She's not prissy. There's nothing you could like throw out to Anna and be like, You'd never be like, well, what are you going to do tonight? No, Anna's never going to want to do that. There's nothing you could say that she's like, no, Anna's I'm willing never. to do anything. She's not willing. Really. She's just <laughs> also kinda, a compliment. She's, kinda, she's, just, she's just ready to go with the flow, and that's, 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 that's a great thing. No, we had, yeah, we had a really good time. Anna, you're um, not only the star, but also executive producer. Uh, what made Chris right for, to play your co-star? Um, you know, Cheap. Yeah, we... On we, your <laughs> We did some chemistry reads with some guys, and um, and then I had to go back to New Zealand because I was shooting something there, and Chris sent in a DVD, and it was just so instant. It was like, oh, of course, even though we didn't get a chance to meet, it was clear that he was Colin. I mean, everything about him is Colin. <laughs> <laughs> For better or worse. <laughs> so he was your first choice? Oh, definitely. All right. Congratulations. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Uh, you spend the film in various states of undress. Uh, how is that? Awkward? Liberating? Um, chilly? Yeah, there certainly is a bit of an awkward... You know, it's, it's, it's always a little strange coming to set being uh, close to naked. Uh, but, but, you know, when I read the script, every single scene that I saw, you never want to do nudity for no reason. You never want it to be gratuitous or unnecessary because then it's, it's just cheap. Um, but, but every scene that I read in the film where, where, where nudity was involved, it was... Really funny. It just made me laugh. And I thought, this is only going to lend itself to the, the type of comedy this is. It's an R-rated comedy. They're, they're, we push the limits, you know, so the nudity didn't seem that uh, edgy. I like that they allowed you to have some chest hair in this one. Thanks. Because yeah, uh, you were <laughs> yeah. completely waxed in Captain America. Well, because he's the little guy. As the little guy, he's, you know, you can't have some little scrawny guy with some mountain of chest hair. So when he becomes big, he's not all of a sudden going to sprout chest hair. So <laughs> we had to do that just because he starts out so small. Wow, I didn't know that was like a character-based decision. <laughs> yeah, well, think about it. What if that little dude took his shirt off and just had a mountain of chest hair? It would have looked ridiculous. You, know? you guys have meetings yeah. based on this? No, <laughs> no, no. The day was, it was just kind of like, should he have chest hair? And they were like, well, he's so skinny and little, it just would look strange if he has chest hair. I like you with and without chest hair. Mm -hmm. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, you seem like a pretty fearless actress. Is that said, there's some pretty body stuff in this film. Uh, anything make you blush? Um, oh, Lord. You know, it's not easy to get to strip down to your underwear in front of like a crew that you've been working with for you know two and a half months. Um, that's hard. That's hard. Especially sheer. Yeah, I, mean, I know, those panties are sheer, man. I don't know what I was thinking. She's ballsy, she's ballsy, she goes for it. <laughs> a lot of the humor in this film is about sort of embracing the awkwardness, right? Mm -hmm. Is that sort of where the comedy gold is mined? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I feel like in general I'm awkward, I would say 99.9% .9 of the time, so... Um, yeah, I think to me that's sort of where I... that's. What I find funny sometimes is, is somebody who's uncomfortable a little bit in their own skin. Um, <laughs> what are you laughing at? I'm just looking at scenes in the movie. You're so yeah. funny. You're hilarious. <laughs> You're just hilarious. Anna cracks me up. <laughs> She's so good at that awkward thing. You yeah. Because it's, it's the opposite of the big, broad humor. You need, like, you need really good acting chops. It's what I love about Ben Stiller. Like, even though it's, like, flirting with disaster, that, like, that subtle like toned down awkward moment that's hilarious and the only way it works is if you're actually a really good actor you actually really have to be good to make that kind of uncomfortable moment sell is funny and Anna just knocks those out of the park she's so good at them I agree thank you <laughs> thanks I was right. like I don't know this is such a feel good session <laughs>